Before I go this morning, I'm going to spotlight one of Key West's most energetic community activists and civic volunteers, Rosie Ware. Now, she is the president of the studios of Key West. She's on the board for the Garden Club. She also volunteers and works with the Mark House. This past February, she was awarded by the American Red Cross the Humanitarian of the Year for 2013. I think you will really enjoy getting to know this lovely person today. Rosie, thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you for that introduction. <laughs> well, you, you made it hard for me because you do so much, so I had a lot to remember. But Rosie, it is a pleasure having you here. I think you have such a great energy, such a great personality. By your, from your accent, Rosie, I should say, I can tell that you're not from Key West. I am, and I try to fit in. So. <laughs> you do fit in, but where are you originally from, and how did you end up here? I'm from originally from Shropshire, from a farm in Shropshire in England, um, and I was brought over to the States for my job, which um, I used to run an advertising research company in England, and I was transferred to Chicago in 96. Mm -hmm. um, but we'd been to, my husband and, my, and myself had holidayed here in Key West in 1990 and fell in love with the place, of course. We bought a timeshare there and then, and we used to come back every year from England. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as I was transferred to Chicago, we bought the house that we currently live in, mm -hmm. which was actually quite smart, because if we'd left it too long, we probably wouldn't have been able to afford the house. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. anyway, so then when we lived in Chicago, we came down here a lot, started getting to know people. And then in 2000s, we moved here permanently. Okay. And here yeah. you are. Yes. <laughs> here you are. And you got thrown right into things, Rosie. One of the mm. first things that you started volunteering for was the Garden Club. Absolutely correct. I've always loved gardening. I'm an English person. We all love gardening. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the first thing I started, yeah, volunteering on a Monday morning. And within about two months, I found myself on the board and um, <laughs> in charge of the gardens. <laughs> and that was like 12 years ago. Mm. Uh, and I'm still in charge of the actual gardens down at West Martello. Uh, I was the president there for four years during that awful time when we had the hurricanes and all mm -hmm. the gardens were wiped out. Mm -hmm. So a, a, a trying time to be president. Um, but uh, I, I love the gardens and that's where I made a lot of my firm friends mm -hmm. um, from, from I think people who love gardens are generally giving people mm -hmm. um, nice people to be around and mm -hmm. fun. Mm -hmm. so, so you made a lot, of, a lot of friends there. And another thing then, you soon got involved with Rosie, which is kind of your baby right now, the studios of Key West. Tell me about your, your love for the studio. Oh, well, I was, I was very lucky and honored, I think, to be invited onto the board. Um, gosh, I can't remember how many years ago now. Probably four years. Um, we're only six years old. Um, and so it was very, you know, it was a, it was a baby organisation at that time, based out in the armoury. Um, and um, I was asked to be on the board and then asked to be president um, about three or four months after that um, because the, the existing president was moving up to Washington, so they, they needed a president. Um, and then a couple of months after that, we lost our funding from the Rodell Foundation, so suddenly I have this fabulous organization that suddenly needs um, funding um, but in lots of ways it was the best thing that happened to us because we had to get more involved with the community um, and that's exactly what happened I mean I think now people can't remember what it was like without the studios um, not just because of the workshops that we do because of the help we give to local artists Mm -hmm. the shows we put on, the exhibitions, mm -hmm. and generally um, I'm hoping, you know, we add something t for all the other arts organizations. We're not trying to replace anybody. We just, we work with the mm -hmm. Waterfront, the other, the other um, the literary seminar, and the other theaters, and even the, the symphony. Um, mm -hmm. In fact, um, uh, Jacqueline is um, using one of our cottages to, to stay in while she needs to be in Key West. Mm -hmm. So as much as possible we try and um, support and work with and partner with all the other arts organizations in and the Keys. You, and you guys do an excellent job mm -hmm. of that and not only yeah. that but you just you showcase the Keys so much you showcase the talent here the creativity and you bring in artists from all over the world who then get to go back to their home and they get a share what Key West was that's, like. That's a perfect way of putting it, it really is. Our Artist in Residency program, which is what we, uh, we refurbish the cottages that we own on Ash Street so that we can put up four different artists a month, and usually from around the world, to stay for a month to do projects. And those will be writers, 
filmmakers, performance people, as well as visual artists. Yeah. Um, and I think Key West has gained a lot from having some of these artists here. Some of them have been you know, very well known, famous, prize winning um, authors or writers. We had a whole movie crew here last summer who made a small movie while they were here. And they do go back and tell their friends. Mm -hmm. um, and this has become quite international. Like this year, this past year, we've had people from Spain, Australia, Norway, as well as the rest of oh, and England, of course, <laughs> of course, um, <laughs> France, um, and um, and from all over the United States mm -hmm. as well. And and I think the community benefits from this because those artists give something back, whether it's going into schools, doing a workshop, putting on a performance, um, and also working with the artists here, local artists. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, if you've been an artist for 20 years, you just need some sort of something to inspire you to absolutely, do something different and, and we believe that's what we're doing and also those cottages are used to house um, say out of town actors for the waterfront mm -hmm. or um, for people from the symphony if they you know the one thing that's always difficult in Key West is founding housing for, right, for visiting right. people so we try to use those for everybody else. Absolutely well you guys do such an awesome job at the studios mm -hmm. of Key West and you were talking about giving back to the community obviously that's something that you do Rosie mm -hmm. because as I mentioned you were awarded the humanitarian of the year for 2013 what an honor that must have been for you. <sighs> Yes, it was. It was it was humbling to be honest, because if you look at the other people who have received this award, this is one of the I mean, I've I've had professional awards for advertising and for research, but none of those matter as much as, as this one. Mm -hmm. it, well, you deserve it. You deserve it. And and another thing you work with that I want to touch on before we go this morning is the Mark House, because yes. that's something you give a lot of your time and your energy to. And it has to be so much fun working with them over at the Mark House. I just love them. They're our family. We don't uh, have any children of our own, so we've sort of adopted the Mark client as our family. Um, we always, my husband and I, do every Christmas Day with them um, and Thanksgiving, uh, which is just fabulous. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've worked with the, uh, with the group home clients for the last 13 years, so they really do become your family. Absolutely. It's one of the first things I, I got involved with. As you know, I like gardening, so I went to the Mark House really for my plants. And then I realized that it was a fabulous place for, um, uh, for special people, special needs people. And so I asked, it was then Mark Linders, how do I get involved? And he put me through training of every single aspect of the Mark House, which was great because I got to do lots of different things with them. Um, and, um, and now I take out a group every Saturday and every Sunday. And a lot of you who are watching this will have probably seen me on a Saturday or a Sunday at church or taking them to the festivals. Whatever's going on in Key West, I always try to make sure that the Mark group can come and enjoy it just like everybody else in Key West. How wonderful. And Key West is so they're wonderful to us, to be absolutely honest. So many of the restaurants and places in Key West, they let us come in for, you know, either for free or at least look after us. Mm -hmm. It's a very special place. Mark, clients are very special, but I think Key West is a very special community that welcomes them. Mm -hmm. And I find that very rare. Wonderful. Well, I think it's so awesome what you do, Rosie. And again, you have such a great personality. It, it's so fun to be around you. You can't help but smile. So I, I thank you for being on this morning. And is there anything else you're working on besides what we've mentioned this morning? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you'd have time, but who knows? <laughs> I don't have time, but I'm here for, I do help uh, uh, the people at the, the animal shelter if I can. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. That's where our little dog came from. Um, and um, obviously the Red Cross now I'm taking a bit more involvement with, which right. is good. But there's, there's so many good, good causes in Key West and mm -hmm. so many good people who give back. Like so. yourself. <laughs> thank well, you. well, thank you again for being on with me this morning, and I look forward to being able to talk with you again in the future. Thank so you very much. Care. Thank you. All right, that's going to do it for me today, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please join me right back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care. If I